Hey guys, I'm the Diamond Crafter, and welcome to my list of my top 5 Zelda items. Let's get started! At number 5, we have the Spinner. And the reason it is one of my favorite Zelda items is because of the creativity of its name. Spinner! The only, and I mean ONLY, downside of the, this item is because it is really only useful in the Arbiter's Ground, but it is extremely fun and unique to use. I mean, you get to smash through the ribs of an ancient skeleton, YES! After you destroy the skeleton's ribs, you get to spiral up this huge wall and smash its head in, YES! Get to shove it up your girlfriend's pussy. At number 4, we have the Bow and Arrow. This item is essential to pretty much every Zelda game, but in Twilight Princess, it is awesome. The hero's bow is the main treasure of the Goron Mines, the game's second dungeon. The Gorons had vowed to protect the bow from Zayat's invasion. Dangora, who had been protecting it, claimed it once belonged to an ancient hero. It can be used from horseback, most notably in the face-off against King Bulblin on the Great Bridge of Hylia. The hero's bow can be combined with the Hawkeye, providing a crosshair and zoom capability for more accurate and long distance aim. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I mean, you get to freaking see, and you get to shoot, and you get to see, and you get to shoot! Yeah, that's awesome. Smashing into number three, the Megaton Hammer, or Megaton Hammer. Or Mechan is can hammer. This item has many variants in, from other games. In the Ocarina of Time, it is called the Megaton Hammer, but in Link to the Past, it is called the Magic Hammer. But they still serve the same purpose. Upon his, his arrival at the Fire Temple, Link encounters Darunia, the Goron Patriarch, in an antechamber to the lair of Volvagia. Darunia goes to confront the dragon, who is resurrected by Ganondorf, but laments that he does not have the legendary Megaton Hammer that a Goron hero used to defeat. Volvagia in ages past. Jumping in at number two, we have the whip from Skyward Sword. I feel as if this, this weapon is really cool and intriguing for many reasons. I mean, you get to rip off arms off ancient automatons from the ancient cistern. The whip is obtained in the ancient cistern after defeating the cell master. It can be used to retrieve items, pull levers, and cut grass. I don't know how a whip can cut grass, especially one that looks like a freaking penis with the ball and the zoo 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 part, you know. And it can also make enemies flinch. Bulb shaped switches require its use to be activated. It can also be used to defeat weaker enemies such as Zeraka or Keith, which are the bats, and to latch onto the tails of the Phoenix in order to make them vulnerable to the fatal blow. Link can also use the whip to obtain items such as the monster horn from Bokoblin leaders, or P Bokoblin, I don't know, as well as the to unearth pea hats. The whip has a glowing sphere of light at its end and can harm enemies weak to light such as cursed Bokoblins. It is used by swinging the Wii Remote in the same movement, but obviously you don't want to let go of your Wii Remote or this can happen. And now, time for number one. <laughs> Number one, the bomb. The bomb shows up in every single Zelda game, and millions of people love it, obviously, because you get to blow shit up like boom, boom, boom. Bombs are powerful explosives that Link can use to destroy obstacles blocking his path or to even damage enemies. They cannot function underwater as it would extinguish their fuses, though sufficiently shallow water may leave the burning fuse above the surface. Their appearance is, the, their appearance is that of metallic orbs filled with explosive powder with a short to me medium fuse, resembling early gunpowder grenades. Bombs can normally be carried without any special requirements, however in some games, bomb bags are needed in order to safely carry bombs. Many different explosive devices also appear alongside bombs, such as the bomb chew from Ocarina of Time. Bomb chew are small- bomb chew? Yeah, bomb chew. Bomb chew like Pikachu, but bomb chew like pew 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 
bomb to our small explosive items and sim similar in appearance to the stylized rodent. The true of the item's name is the Japanese onoma onomatopoeic word for a mouse's squeak. If you wanted to know that, you now know it. When released, a bomb chew will, will dash along the surface until its fuse is gone or until it hits a solid object. In both cases, it explodes. Bomb chew can, can be used to hit certain far off targets. Often, the, uses, the usage, oh my god, oh my god, the usage of bomb chew is most like, mostly, ah! <laughs> often the usage of bomb chew is mostly or entirely optional. And that, my friends, is my top five list of my top five Zelda items. Now, go back to what you were doing, like, I don't know, eating granola bars, watching porn, even watching a panda give birth to a baby walrus. Yes! I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I sure enjoyed reviewing these items, and I will see you next time.